Hey there, soon to be SolidWorks Ninja. <laughs> this video is a sneak peek of our uh, SolidWorks 101 course for industrial designers who want to go from SolidWorks newbie to ninja using real world techniques. Uh, I developed this course while teaching courses uh, at universities and design offices alike. And uh, this course is meant to empower product designers to use SolidWorks as a creative tool rather than just a documentation tool for creating your very own robot in this case. And uh, hopefully those skills will then translate into being used as a foundation for creating pretty much any other product design you'd like. So enjoy the video, head over to cadjunkie.com for full access to our entire video library. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay, everybody, get yourselves ready. This is gonna be fun. We now have uh, Ampy on the screen here. As you can see, this is Ampy. Ampy is uh, is our resident robot here at CAD Junkie, and, uh, and Ampy is going to teach us about the basics of SolidWorks. Ampy is a really straightforward little robot. He's, there's nothing fancy about it. He does have wheels that rotate in sympathy with one another. You can move his head up and down. You can tilt it forward and back, and you can even rotate his view from side to side really easily. And it all is just just really incredibly easy to do. On top of that, we're even going to create some images. We're going to go to uh, our drawings and create a really simple, multi, you know, three view drawing of this guy, with uh, complete with nice tangent edges and dimensions that update when you update the model. We're also going to create just a couple of other more fancier, more fancier. <laughs> design features. How's that for good grammar? And you know, I think this is this is going to be a great opportunity to practice playing with SolidWorks. That's the whole point of this exercise. So as you go into this, I want you to follow along step by step, blah blah blah. But I also want you to take this as an opportunity to play with the tool. Spend time just faking it, making stuff up on the fly. I've intentionally not included very many dimensions in this exercise. In fact, there are almost none. And that's because I want you to improvise with SolidWorks. That's the point of the tool. The point is that you don't know what you're doing before you do it. We're just going to get in there, throw things together, and see what happens. Let's get started. <laughs> 